Top 10 biggest Asmongold rage moments? All right, here we go. Almost entirely out of found and recycled parts. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply Fuck. to drag yourself up a mountain. God a damn it! Yeah, that's about right. By the way, I don't think that one was very bad. Yeah, I, I really don't. I think that was fine. I wasn't that mad. Fuck! That was not so bad either. Oh my god, I'm just gonna- I'm gonna move this over to here, alright? There, I don't have to move it every single time. Yeah, that was fucking it. Oh, bro, like, oh, God. This, th dude, this was the dumbest fucking boss. This was such a stupid fucking boss. Like, I hated this boss so much. Oh, I'm, so, I'm getting so mad. I'm getting so fucking mad. Fuck! I'm pretty sure I died to that boss more than any other boss in the game besides Moenia. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? What are you doing? I don't know 13. What I'm doing, dude. 13. Oh, he was counting how many times I died. Oh, bro, like this lobster shit? I remember this. I quit my stream over this. I remember I ended the stream because of how fucking annoying this was. Yeah, I was fucking Fuck! furious. Come on! Oh, yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Damn it! I remember that one. Oh, God. And yeah, is that everybody knew it was going to be this one, right? Like, that's the best part, is like, you sit through the whole fucking thing and you know exactly what it's going to be. Fuck! God, I was so fucking pissed, man. Bonus? Oh, yeah. This is Let's go, Asmund! Let's go, dude! Shut the fuck up, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it streamed away, dude. <laughs> That's some dumbass shit. I don't miss the Asmongold streams near as much as I miss the Asmongold intros and chat. Is that right? Let's see here. I was always a lurker on the main channel. Uh, same for the all. Love watching a chat spam. The intro loading screens change based on what version of WoW. Yeah. I don't know, like, maybe I'll do something like that. He opens his camp full screen, takes a map, some sip of soda, the chat just freaks out, good times. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't know if I'm ever gonna do that again, man. Uh, I, I really don't. Like, uh... I don't know, man. We'll see what happens. I miss the intro music, so yeah, it's just that... I've been, dude, straight up, like, oh, oh here, yeah, here you go. Asgold 2022 versus 2023. I mean, as I said, guys, um, I, I don't really like talking about a lot of this, but I've really been going through it recently. Like, things have been very not good for me. Like, my dad's health has been declining. He's my only parent. He's, like, one of my only family members. I've been having to deal with that. It's been awful, man. It's been fucking terrible. I, uh, I like it's just like I, I have to just like take an hour after I get home just to fucking like get out of the mindset so I can go live. It's horrible, man. And 
it, it, that's why I stream late at night and there's just like so much other shit. I've got a feeling I've been more negative and downtrodden since a while. I have. I mean, like, I try not to be negative, right? I really try not to be negative. But it is fucking hard, man. It is. And I don't, I don't talk about it a lot on stream or like make tweets about it or videos about this stuff. Like, I, like what the fuck? But yeah, like true. Unironically, like I've been really stressed out. Like I've been sick pretty much every fucking day. Like I, I've just, I felt like shit. I haven't been able to sleep. I like sleep for forty-five minutes at a time. It's awful. And there's no end in sight. I don't know when it's going to stop. I don't know what's going to happen. It's... F take some time off? How's that going to help the problem? How is taking time off going to solve the problem? It's not... Th there's not... Guys, it's, it's not therapy... It's that there is a massive problem in my life and it's making my life worse. You don't need therapy to figure that out. Like, I don't need a fucking doctor to tell me this. It, it's like, it's kind of obvious, right? Damn. Therapy Andy's. Well, I mean, I, I don't think therapy is a bad thing. I just don't think it's like uh, anything else, right? Sometimes life just kicks you in the balls. Yeah. It's, it's more that it reflect and it helps. I've never found that, like, digesting the reality of the situation. Oh, I've, I have to digest it every day. I mean, I don't know, like... Therapy can give you tools to better manage your emotions and the stress. It's not about emotions and stress, it's about time, right? So I will give you, um... I will, I will give you, like, this is what my schedule is right now for my life, okay? I, uh, I wake up in the morning, like, three times. I'll wake up and I'll check my phone multiple times to check to make sure that, like, my dad hasn't called me. Because I told him I'd leave my phone on at all times. So he can call me whenever he wants. If he needs anything, I'll be there, right? 24 hours a day. And... So I finally actually, like, wake up at, like, usually 4 to 5. And then I call him, and then I have to go over to his house and help him for multiple hours. Uh, like, I, I usually don't even get home until, like, at the earliest 8.30. Uh, usually, like, 9, 10, many times later than that. So... Then I have to get home, and I, I, I don't even have time to, to order, to, to go out and get food, right? So I, I have food ordered to my house. So I get home, and usually uh, the food's, like, not entirely cold, but, you know, it's not entirely warm either, but it's fucking hot as shit, so it's a bit of a, you know, bit of an advantage that it's hot in this circumstance. So th this is going on, then I finally get home, I watch, like, maybe 20 minutes of TV or something while I eat my food. And then I lay down just to decompress from everything that I've had to deal with. I get up, I, I, I fucking, and this is, like, also at the same time, like, I'm following up with, like, different, uh, you know, like, different obligations, different uh, people I need to speak to, people that need to, you know, they need my, uh, some, something, right? And so, uh, I have to talk to them, etc. And, uh, then... Then I go live. And usually this is at about 12 o'clock. And I go live until about 6 in the morning. And, uh, 5, 5 to 7 in the morning, realistically. And then I have maybe an hour after that to, like, follow up with other things that have happened while I was online. And then I go to bed and then I repeat the process. That's been my life for the past three weeks. Ben is idiot. I don't... Uh, who gives a fuck? Like, uh, somebody said something rude. Who cares? Oh my god. Somebody said something rude in the chat. I don't give a fuck. Like, it, 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 I, I'm upset that, it, that, like, my life is like this. I'm not mad that somebody says something rude and... Who cares? Like, I don't know. 
Oh, he's not living in denial? Yeah, this schedule doesn't seem sustainable. I know, I know it doesn't seem sustainable. And uh, you thought about taking some free time off? I, I think that I've had to. Or I might have to. Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, and the reason why I haven't wanted to is like, I don't know if the situation with my dad is going to improve. I don't know if it's going to deteriorate. I have no, I don't know what's going to happen, right? So like, I haven't wanted to take time off until I absolutely like, you know, God forbid I have to. So I, I that's why I haven't done it. I know that people have like, uh, you know, things that like, I, I don't want to go through and talk about all of the little nuances of this. Um, it, it, it's complicated, right? And like, I, obviously, like, you know, my dad and I, like, there's like, it's like a 30, 30 something year relationship. So like, I could explain like why some things happen, why other things don't happen. But like, there's like hours of context behind that. So, your yeah, friends can be available to check up on your dad if you weren't able to. I, I don't want to, I don't want to talk, I don't, like... I understand that from an outsider's perspective, there seem to be solutions. It is more complicated than that. And I don't want to talk about it. I'm just explaining what, like, the situation that I'm in. And why I think, I mean, unfortunately, this picture is accurate. And I really try my best to come on and be entertaining and to do what I've always done. I'll read a few questions. I want to move on. Do you want to say your piece be done with it? Yeah, I just want to, I want people to know. I think people should have some idea of what's going on. Because obviously, you know, there could be some days where I'm more on edge. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I try my best to hide it and uh, suppress it as much as I can. Sure, size would be possible to run it more as a company. I, I again, like it's things are often more complicated than they seem. I think it's a personal problem. Yeah, it's a, it's a very personal problem. The suppression can be bad for you. I have tried to, uh, like I, I've I've tried different ways of coping with things. And I found that the best way for me to cope with things is to pretend that they're not real and to completely ignore them. That's been the only way that I've been able to deal with them. And like, just accept that they're, they, you know, it, it is what it is, right? Like, this is what's happening. And don't spend your whole life thinking about it. It's, it's going to happen. It is happening to you right now. It's not good. It's really bad, in fact. And it's going to keep being like this. And that's just how it is. And so you can sit there and cry and fucking complain. Or try to distract yourself and rise above it and move on. And carry on. Just cry. I've cried multiple times driving back from his house. I have. It's not good. I'm not going to sit here and cry on stream. Fuck no. I don't cry in front of him either. It is what it is. Sometimes shit sucks. And sometimes there's not a solution to it. That's just the way it is. Let me see this. Probably one of my favorite clips to come with the Final Fantasy XIV stuff. This looks like mind play. What the fuck is this? So keep in mind, guys. Oh, God. This is the world first. These guys are great. They're amazing. Yep. The best players. Method. Completely authentic. They hate us because they ain't us. What is this? What Good are we talking about? Good players only. Best WoW Guild. Final Fantasy. Cheaters. <sighs> Cheating? The best skill. Yeah, true. Cheating? Again. The best skill. <laughs> yeah. What's the add-on with the green lines? So, 
the add-on was able to triangle well, like it was able to use your xy coordinate positions to tell you exactly where to stand in relation to every other player so players could effectively ignore the mythic mechanic on archimond and keep fighting the boss yeah and so you had an add-on that would tell you exactly where to stand so that's cheating no because as as we looked out in the photo we're not playing final fantasy okay so in Final Fantasy, it would be cheating. In World of Warcraft, it's just a get-good situation.